pop that one there. Additionally, we are going to start feeding the forest over here. Now, nothing really standing out to me there. Bandits still don't do a whole lot of damage yet. Really? Another vampire's house? It's kind of getting silly now. Also, oh dear lord. Who am I attacking first? Oh, thank goodness I'm attacking the flash bomb. That could have been nasty. Ooh. Ooh. Also, ooh. Um, uh, hmm. Serias, thank you very much for the 29 months. Game is really, really telling me to upgrade a village. Yes, that's exactly what it's trying to tell me. Upgrade in extremely emphasized air quotes. I think the loss of 5 vampirism for 11 evasion and 4 defense is reasonable. Yeah. I'm not going to lose that 12 vampirism though, as a consequence. That would take us up to almost recovering half of the damage we do. Ooh. I'd lose the 11 evasion, but we just replaced it down here, so... Yes. That was just straight up amazing. I could now lose 12% vampirism in order to gain 150 odd, uh, well, 130 odd uh, max health and more damage. I'm not sure on this one, chat. This would give us a bit of extra defense, so we, at that point we would be mitigating 22 points of incoming damage. We would also be doing an extra 11 damage to everyone in a fight on top of an extra straight up seven damage to our target as well. I think we're gonna go with the armor. We're back down to 29. Like, we're just 1% less vampiric than a vampire. I think I can live with that. I think I can live with that. The game is really trying to tell me, though, to, uh... I, I can't believe we haven't seen any... Any, uh... Lanterns, though. It's just bonkers. I, I mean, not so bonkers. Hang on a sec. What are you? Oh, it's a gargoyle. Whispering Wolf, thank you so much for the three gift subs there. That's incredibly kind of you. Thank you, buddy. <sighs> At some point, we just have to bite the bullet and say, look, okay. Someone needs to become a ghoul. And that someone is going to be you. The game really wants a vampire area, okay? It's desperate for one.
That actually, th I've got to be honest, this is starting to look like a, like a legit RPG map. With little valleys and stuff, with the temples out of the, out of the middle of nowhere. I'd drop four damage to everyone, mind you. And I'd also drop 14 counter. I'd lose counter completely, but my vampirism would go up a lot. I think we're going with vampirism. We are now more vampiric. 14% more vampiric than a vampire. I believe that once these lands are, are cleansed of uh, savagery and barbarism, they will actually be my lands. I will simply be leaving them in the care of one of my manservant vampires. But everyone will know that I am the Vampire Lord. Um. Hmm. No, why would I? That's silly. Count Ava no, 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 Count Avacula. I'll have you know. Look at that heel, though. Thing of beauty. I do now heal quite a lot more than I take damage. But, you know, it'll keep getting worse. Okay, we've got an Oblivion that I can play. Should I need to? Oh my lord, did it just make a flash call on the quest target? Why would you do this to me, game? What do you gain from being such an epic scallywag? If I place another mountain, I trigger the boss. New to OP, the game needed a nerf you. I could get rid of some of this nonsense by obliterating something and giving myself a little bit more wiggle room until the boss. Or I could just allow a, a trip around a few times. Gather up some more gear. Nah, lack of vampirism there. The forest has decided that I must be the next sacrifice. Eh, kind of true. I heal so much now. Okay, four bandits. Let's see how this goes. So far, even with four of them, I was still either holding even or out healing them. Okay, we've just fed the forest. Okay, two skellies and a gargoyle. All of these hit hit rather nastily. Evaded a bunch of it. Oh wow. Okay, now we're starting to see some nice numbers for damage. Need to see more like that, please. Hello, Avak. I've been having a bit of a night of self-introspection and suddenly realized just how much better my life would have been in the UK. Glad to have some good Abba Dragon vibes to make me feel better. I'm sorry to, to hear that, mate. I, well, I mean, it's never too late to change things up a little bit. 
I mean, I know I only moved around within the UK, and that's a very different deal to moving from outside the UK in somewhere in the UK. But, you know, sometimes it's just going to be like, yeah, I, I can recognize that my life would be better if this thing changed and change it, no matter how scary that change might seem. No, uh, I understand right now the world's a little bit crazy, and that's not exactly something that anyone can do, given the current moment. But, uh, you know, not even even big, big uh, moves and shifts can, can uh, kind of intimidate you out of even considering how viable they are. Yeah, still no lantern. I am kind of shocked. stats that we're getting out of out of these items is just kind of bonkers now all right I've still not seen one of those those orbs though interestingly do we retreat or do we continue You want to go home? Continue. Retreat. Continue. Continue. I got home. We could do one. One full. One more loop and just see how we handle it. Because right now we are easily handling things. If something kills us, it's going to be the. Uh, the quest flesh golem. That's that's what I'm worried about right now. That's really the part that I'm concerned about at this stage. Damage to wall 16. Wow, that's that's not messing around. But we got through a pretty beefy fight with skeletons there, so I'm, I'm somewhat content that we're doing okay. Oh, we're starting to drop off the uh, vampire um, mansions. That would be a loss of a goodly bit of our max HP. Does it give us anything particularly good out of it? No. I mean, the regen maybe, but no, not really. No. Also no. So no, nothing there. Okay. We fed this uh, forest up enough. I'll check it out after the stream boat type if it. I'm glad you felt that you could... Uh, you could vent a bit on, on the Daffodil Discord, though. I'm glad that you feel you've got somewhere that you can go and just, you know, share. Um, I've all I've still got this as a as a oh no moment. Oh, that was a fair bit of uh, damage coming my way. 65. But we are holding well right now. There we go. Somersault. 35% chance to perform a counterattack during an evade. Strong aftertaste. 1.5 damage for every potion used. Blissful ignorance. Loads of oblivions. Um, hmm, that's kind of tempting, actually. Uh, somersault. Our, our, our deck is way... Like, we'd have to spend all of these to get the Blissful Ignorances. So I think no. Right, let's have a look at what uh, was just given to us. No, we don't want regen. No, nothing there really standing out. 
First the villagers feed the vampire, and then they feed the forest, and then they feed the <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. Hello, big boy. 96 damage! I think he is literally punching the blood out of us right now. And that's what we can expect from this one, only 200% more healthy. A drop of 9% vampirism, but massive increase in defense. A drop of 3% evasion, but 10% gain on counter. That was a hard one. This one is a no. I'm strongly considering wiping out that flash column. It hits like a truck full of many more trucks. But I'm really tempted with the shield. Yeah, we're gonna upgrade. Lost a bit on vampirism, gain counter. Evasion is now to 8%. We'll see how it goes. Got a new village. <laughs> uh, Alright, here, here's, here's the moment of truth. Do we nuke this quest mob? Or do we just go in and see? Yeah, attack! I think we're gonna try it. We're gonna try it, and we're gonna learn. We're gonna learn from this one way or the other. I am taking damage, but I've got three potions to, to burn here. Thankfully, we took out all of the ads first. That was luck, not judgment, but it was very good luck. It's had 805 hit points. Well, that was an evade and a counter. Nice. Woohoo! We've got a book of memories. Only real facts and many truths. But only about one thing. And one time. Okay. Mm, no. Absolutely no. Ah, nothing there that we really want. <laughs> we fed the forest enough for it to uh, grow even more. And this is now where we start to gain all of our health by, you know, drinking chests. Nineteen percent evasion, though. Nah. Uh, that being said, we've got a 35% chance whenever we evade of countering. Huh. Actually, I uh, we're going to lose a solid 5 defense with this, but we gain a lot more potential from that, I think. I don't believe that 100% uh, evasion is possible. I don't know, though. But I don't believe so. Thankfully, we've got so many towns around here now that we have a lot of opportunities to heal. On our, on our trip anyway, we've got a lot of chances to heal. Yeah. 
solid plus 100 to our max HP. Um, no, I, I think having a higher magic damage is better for us. How much are they hitting for? They're still not hitting for much. We're not absorbing as much anymore, but uh, you know, it's just the way it goes. I'm really tempted to find out and try to live long enough to find out what kind of uh, what kind of better quests we would get from the uh, the, the vampire um, towns, but I'm not sure we're going to be able to really push it that far. On the plus side, we're generating a lot of uh, memories, though. It's a shame I don't have an Oblivion to play, because I, I could get rid of one of the like bandit hovels or something like that, so I could play a new village. The quests are much, much more useful, ultimately. Or, indeed, a battlefield, so that I could get more treasure chests. Two books already. Oh, oh wait, ten is the max. Okay, we're actually getting to the point now where farming further is unnecessary. And what? It doesn't need boots or pants, of course. Wow. The farming going on with those memories is, is ridiculous. 123 points of damage in one go. Yikes. Oh my lord. Those look like vampire rings. Okay, well let's have a look at this. A level 9 armor. Vampirism 9%. Damage to all 5. We would lose... A little bit of magic damage. A little bit of... Uh, damage to wall. We'd gain 80 health. And nine extra vampirism. I think so, yes. There we are, back up to 44%. Oh, wow, those are just awful stats. Those are absolutely awful stats. For a ring of that level? That's just garbage. No, we're not going to go with that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the Grey Rings focus on one stat, yeah. Another book. Thankfully, it's not a mimic. Oh! A ghost? <gasps> of course, because the ghost has a soul. Any enemy that has a soul can be reborn as a ghost. So what just happened there was we killed the skeleton so we killed the, the undead skeleton that had a soul, and it became a ghost, another undead. And then we killed the ghost, and then the ghost resurrected as a ghost, but now it's a ghost 
of ghosts. It's a swarm. What? Can you get a ghost of a ghost of a ghost? Well, it's got a soul, so I assume so, yes. Oh! Yes, yes, you can. Prime matter. Undead, cosmic, also has a soul. Could be something else. Has a soul. We are dividing by zero, chat. We are messing with things we should not mess with. Ooh. Orb of expansion. <laughs> I'm glad we got a nice reward for that. It's like, damn right, I deserve something amazing. <sighs> that was amazing, though. <laughs> Let's be honest here. Oh, my goodness. Look at that shield, though. I dropped the 19 evasion for 15 vampirism. That would take me to 59% vampirism. But I kind of like being able to evade. Not gonna lie. That feels like a really useful ability. I'm gonna keep that, though, at the, at the high point. That was ridiculous, though. Prime matter. Oh dear. Is it going to be a repeat? No, it is not. Before I leave to the... Oh, that is a good point, actually. Okay, before I leave there, I can pop down a treasury, and so I will. Oh! Oh, so this is the boss mode. <laughs> that terrified me. I thought I'd just been killed. Lich's Palace. It was here that the sorcerer, Omicron, conducted his futile experiments in an attempt to stop the heat death of the universe. Every palace increases the Lich's HP and damage by 5%. And there are five of them. So I... Ooh, if I get... Ooh. So, if you saved up until you had a bunch of Oblivions, you could nix 25% of the boss's power. Oh, damn it. No, I can't surround the treasury. Oh, that's a pain. Man. I didn't get it there. Unless... Please, bandit. No. Much sadness. Ultra sad. If you build around your campsite, it can't overwrite buildings for the palace. I'm not sure what you mean. All right. I'll, uh, I either fight the boss or I leave. I think, I think we're going to... As strong as we feel, we're going to retreat and keep all of our stuff. All right. I better be able to build a stupid amount of stuff now. I still can't build the supply. I can build a cemetery, though. Passing through the cemetery on expeditions grants you a piece of information. That would lead up to the crypt. Um, I can get the refuge now, which would give me access to the rogue class. I can get the smithy. That's you start an expedition with basic warrior gear. Or the farm. Unlocks wheat fields. Farm first, I think. Uh, let's put the farm over there. Uh, I, oh, wait, wait, wait. I want this to have as many spaces around it as possible. Uh, there's nowhere that gives me really that much space. 
Um, pop it here. Have you noticed how strangely this oblivion affects our senses? Hunger, for example. You can't stop eating. F uh, you can stop eating for days, and you still won't be hungry. This, of course, does not mean that you should stop eating altogether. I experience this regularly. The farmer promises that he'll be able to grow some stable crops, but it will take some time. It will be interesting to see what he can grow without sunlight. Okay. That can't be upgraded. 